So mm -hmm. national grid, PwC, and multiple things. Okay, so uh, then uh, all the cloud migrations kind of thing stuff, and then uh, around 2015 onwards, like that. Okay, all the Terraform and IAC kind of things. Okay, so how so the enterprises are evolving. The, oh, you are into IAC completely. Yeah, completely now in DevOps. Okay, completely. Okay. So and DevOps is very wide infrastructure and yeah. toolings. Okay. Mm, so as a cloud, is one part of Azure it. or uh, AWS? Uh, Multi cloud now, Azure, but AWS, GCP, everything. Okay. okay. Um, because now uh, around 2015, 20, like that time, it was their enterprises were going in one cloud and all. But now, yeah. like all the companies are evolved, they want to switch over because the that whichever pricing is easy, they they switch over. They want to switch over to that. Okay. Yeah, so, that is true. That, yeah. mm. So then comes the this Terraform only, which is much more mm. user friendly. Managing. Yeah, okay. yeah. Hope you can see my screen, right? Mm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. So first of all, that Terraform, okay, mm -hmm. is like how you did ARM templates and all that. So Terraform is, it is not like a traditional, like those .NET, like those kind of languages are, it is not like that, okay. So this is more like a, uh, uh, what do you say, a declarative language. Now, now all the new languages, like for example, you might have heard uh, Puppet, Chef, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, even the Bicep, Okay, so these all all are what it is. These are declarative languages. Okay, so mm -hmm. we don't have to tell how to do it and all, how mm -hmm. to do each step. We just have to declare what should be the end step. Okay, mm -hmm. and it will go and create it accordingly. So we don't have to worry about that. But in the traditional languages and all, like Python, C, Java, and all that, we have to give each step. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's a bit easier. That's why the learning curve is easy. On, on on these kind of languages. Okay, so Terraform is also one of that. Okay, like how Ansible, ARM templates, Puppet, these are all declarative. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's why learning wise it is, I would say being done all the programming kind of a Python and all that in past Java and all. So it's the mm -hmm. learning curve is quite easy. Okay. okay. And th there is a finite amount of things which you need to learn. Okay, so there is a boundary to learn otherwise if you see other languages and you know, all there is quite wide things you need to learn and all okay but uh, these ones there are fixed things there are kind of a, a particular structure of uh, uh, in the terraform language and there mm -hmm. are a couple of modules like that each module and once we have done through that so everything revolves around that okay so we have a finite amount of things to learn so that is a, again a good thing for a learner like they won't be overwhelmed with the level of uh, information and all that okay mm -hmm. So just going through with some videos mm -hmm. like these uh, yeah. variables and providers uh, like uh, syntaxes, like setting mm -hmm. blocks and all this. I was able to understand. Yes, yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah. So that is very easy. Yeah. So that's why if you see the structure, like, for example, the variable block is there. Okay. And the provider block. So there are kind of around 10 to blocks are there, which we, if we know all that, that's done. Okay. Our day things are done okay so that's mm -hmm. why uh, our core time framed okay we don't want to keep months and months like that it will be very mm -hmm. time framed and mm -hmm. we just have to go through each each block okay mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we could which may not be right might Sorry? be some things uh, there could be some things right which may not be relevant immediately as a starter okay you may need after doing day in day in job like for six months after one year you may need some very advanced features okay mm -hmm. towards the end we will take or we may skip it okay because okay. anyway even if you learn it now you uh, if you don't use it you will forget it so all the languages nowadays like that if you don't hands-on mm -hmm. you will very quickly forget it okay so yeah. i would advise yeah. you the day-to-day to -day activities at least do some, you know, come, that would uh, be great yes yes yeah day-to-day mm -hmm. activities yeah so we'll uh, go through part, all the important in this part I have done actually. how our curriculum will be yeah this mm -hmm. installing part installing terraform and the cli uh, azure cli i have done it 
Oh, very yeah. good. Okay. Yeah. So we can skip like whichever things you already done install Terraform Visual yeah. Studio Code. So our day to day job will be on the Visual Studio Code. Yeah, I have done it here. Great. AZCLI, AWS, we will skip it because some students want AWS as well. So yeah. it's optional purely because if you are focusing on it on Azure, let's purely focus on Azure only. Okay. Mm. So yeah. uh, AZCLI and all installation is done. And uh, then we will start from here, the top level blocks. Okay, whichever yes. are the top level blocks. And in the first, uh, our intro, this one, we can skip a lot of things and we will see what are we going to do, which all blocks we are going to do. So mm. we'll we'll go through each of the block yeah. at a high level. Okay. okay. And once then each block we are going into very drill down level, like what is the day-to-day -day use of the provider block? Okay. Mm. How, what is actually used? Uh, what, what is the purpose of it? How to best utilize it? So mm. the second module will be the first block, the Terraform block and the provider block. Okay. Mm. And then we will go through the resource block, okay, which will be our meat of the course. You can say we, the day in day out, you will work more on the resources side. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here we will do all the resources block and while mm -hmm. using the resources, while creating the resources, we may use a lot of other blocks. Okay. Helper blocks, or we call it meta arguments like mm -hmm. count provider life cycle for each. These all we will use. Okay. So mm -hmm. these are very relevant in day to day in day out. Okay, whoever like either it is AWS you are using or Azure. So mm -hmm. after doing that, then we will come come to the chapter called modules. Okay, so this will be the like one of the key chapter which is used in all enterprises. Okay, so whoever whichever company is using Terraform, they are hundred mm -hmm. percent using this this knowledge. Okay, Terraform modules, mm -hmm. and uh, this allows you to share your code and work in a team. Okay, mm -hmm. so currently whatever resource you do, you might be creating on your own. Okay, but there is nobody can contribute on that. Okay, or you cannot share your code properly. But using mm -hmm. this module in one code, like ten people can collaborate and work. Okay, so enterprise everyone they follow this module. So we will spend a good amount of time here, and then uh, Terraform state. Okay, we'll see what is the purpose of the state file, how to recover that and change that and all. So these all. The curriculum I have like done after seeing my day-to-day -day work. Okay, for the last two years, whatever I'm in day-to-day, -day, I'm 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 getting so that from there only I created this course curriculum. Okay. Okay. And can expression can on four actually in the yeah. in the before yeah. slide. So these are yeah, the, the four. Modules. Okay. Yeah, the Terraform mm -hmm. module. So whatever. Uh, Usually in all the enterprise or whatever project you are going to do in any organization, okay. Mm -hmm. So you you have to do it using modules only, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, because these are these are first of all reusable, okay, easily manageable and all. You can share it, and um, usually organizations go in this way only, okay, to mm -hmm. to uh, to better manage the, manage the resources and control it. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. so ultimately we'll be using resource, but after the resources, there the packaging, like how to deliver it, it will be through the modules. Okay, so you are going to deliver your end goal in a, in a module. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and uh, then the state file. Okay, and state file Terraform, is but a copy of uh, the existing is in the file. Oh, yeah, it mm -hmm. is kind of your golden copy. You can see all the resource information will be there here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, how to configure, like clone the state. Like let's say uh, you are, you are, um, you got into some project already. Somebody has done the coding and all, but the code is not available with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how to understand it from the state file, how to copy it. You, you have your state file information locally already created. Okay, now you want to migrate it to Terraform Cloud or Terraform Enterprise. So mm -hmm. this knowledge will be useful. Okay, because, uh, mm -hmm. uh, ultimately the, the organizations and all, they, they won't be using Terraform locally. Okay, they will be using some form of either Terraform Enterprise or Terraform Cloud or something like that. Okay, or, or even uh, they, they will have their own uh, remote state. Okay, okay. So, so that it gives the uh, uh, power to have to share the things or do it in a collaborative way so let's say you are you are creating the resources locally on your laptop 
okay but now mm-hmm. tomorrow let's say somebody else wants to continue work on it or you, or you want to uh, uh, do some somebody has left the work half and you want to continue so if you don't have the state file and all you cannot do that job okay so mm-hmm. that's why all the organizations will manage the the state file centrally okay so the the small organizations they may go for either keeping it in a in a storage account okay in azure storage account or in a aws s3 bucket okay or in a gcp bucket as well so like in a central place and mm-hmm. then you point your code to that state file and do the day to day job so that 10 people can also work collaboratively in that okay mm-hmm. so that's why the organizations will go in that way like remote remote uh, remote state managing the remote state so we will see in that and we will also configure the remote state using storage account and s3 so i have seen many startup companies or small organizations they go in that way like they keep a uh, keep their own uh, s3 bucket and in that they do or a storage account and they will do that maybe some mid level or big organizations they will go with terraform cloud Okay, or or some much more higher they will have their own licenses and they will go for terraform enterprise okay but the back end code and the the language or the writing style everything is same okay it's only their the tool is changing like that they will have more features like in an enterprise like how cloud, the cloud is it. different but the um, writing yeah uh, correct code and yes, your code different. will be exactly mm-hmm. same only mm-hmm. thing it will name like it are from cloud so that it gives many other governance features like you can have policies in like uh, usually in a group you can do right management group management and all that policies thing what, what one person can do so these are very uh, like uh, necessary things for enterprise so they will go in that okay but mm-hmm. uh, maybe for the startups or small organizations they don't want that many bells and whistles new things so they will go with um, creating their own a uh, remote storage okay by in his storage account or anything this also works fine only thing they don't have that gui and all that stuff okay mm-hmm. so this is that part and the terraform expression and function this is very small chapter because as i said this is not a very traditional language like java python and all that where you can create your own functions and subroutines and all that mm-hmm. here we are using the function which are already given by the hashicorp terraform okay Mm-hmm. so we will just go through couple of important functions which are uh, used day in day out like uh, whatever as per my experience like couple of first 20 functions or something we can pick okay mm-hmm. uh, just a minute i will just open the door somebody is coming okay sorry one one okay yeah so this is that chapter order to go through the functions and all and how to convert uh, maybe formatting okay so storage id you want or subscription you want from the a lot of big string okay so these things we will in, we will encounter here okay in this mm-hmm. chapter and seventh chapter is more on the troubleshooting part on the logging and all it is purely optional i would say okay maybe you want, you want you can skip it i in day to in day in day out we don't use that much okay mm-hmm. like logging and all i can so it's just uh, maybe 15 minutes chapter this one okay okay and is it, uh, is it logging sorry. like um uh yeah logs? like it is Depend more for the logs? from the yes so let's say you are creating some uh, terraform code okay mm-hmm. code is all fine but it is not creating in backend connectivity is not happening to azure okay or authentication is fail- failing to azure your service principle or certificate authentication is failing so those okay. sort of troubleshooting mm-hmm. tell you like how to enable the trace logging how to do the central debug logging in that we will see that mm-hmm. okay so okay. that's why this uh, is not that uh, day in day out so i will give you the helpful resources and my notes which i have for this part and still we will go through that but it won't be very extensive like the state or the resource okay, okay. and uh, terraform cloud and this this one uh, also like um, because terraform cloud uh, like for five u- kind of users it, it's free okay so mm-hmm. we will go through this okay like uh, this will give you a feel of working in, in kind of a getting experience in the enterprise like how 
they do the terraform enterprise uh, and the terraform cloud okay the look and feel is same exactly mm -hmm. there is slightly the features here and there it may differ but the look and feel and the experience is almost same okay so this mm -hmm. will give you a a, a complete enterprise wide kind of experience where you have to till now we will do all the coding locally okay on on your own laptop but here in this chapter whatever code is already developed we will push that to the git repository mm -hmm. okay, so we will couple of git commands also we will do that day in day out how whatever commands we use there are not many okay few only so and then how to integrate that in a pipeline and all that stuff like how to push it to the terraform cloud and do that mm -hmm. this is again chapter 9 is optional i have added it because some of the students they want that because they they do through the azure devops integration mm -hmm. okay this is the pipeline integration okay so whatever code you do you, it is already there in git but you have to trigger it from the azure pipeline okay as you do so it's purely optional if if you feel that your organization which you are planning they are using that we can go through that okay or we will do it anyway like if it is optional we can put more focus otherwise mm -hmm. it will be little bit like point to point will be there because it is again a vast topic but we will we are touching only the thing which will in, give us the capability to to do a ci cd of terraform pipeline yes so yeah. so this these things yeah so this chapter eight and nine i put purely yes, on the mandatory isn't it yeah yes because in enterprise they do that okay so till now what we are doing is we are learning all the terraform here and mm -hmm. here we it is more on enterprise kind of exposure because whenever you go for any interviews or anything like talking they will that cicd word will come okay they mm -hmm. will say like how you how you are creating the resources using terraform so if you say that i create my file locally and run that so that they, nobody nobody will know like they will immediately know that okay this is not the proper way in enterprise so mm -hmm. proper way in enterprise is they they build the code okay, locally they push it to git okay then the branch so and then push it to a pipeline and the pipeline will run and create the resources okay so mm -hmm. that will give yeah, you a very uh, end to end so if they are using uh azure um, uh, devops uh, what yeah. is it sorry azure cloud then they will push it to azure isn't it like azure cloud isn't it instead of uh, using it it's, uh, it's not mandatory okay so uh, organizations this is a pipeline okay so pipeline means what whatever tasks you have created okay it is running on a scheduled way or or on a event based yeah. okay so you can hear some organizations will go for azure devops some will go for jenkins okay some will go for github actions github mm -hmm. actions is pretty kind of new and fancy so a lot of organization even microsoft is pushing very hard for github actions mm -hmm. so it depends whichever pipeline they are going for circle see many tools are there okay, but yeah. uh, so whichever tool you you see if your organization or your whichever you are planning to do if they mm -hmm. are using github actions we can do with that if they are using jenkins we can do with jenkins okay so it is not mandatory that this one only this okay. is just an example i have given okay. so some organizations will be using some sort of tool okay either yeah. some sort of ci cd tool okay? yeah. so that th these will be running on a event trigger basis or on schedule basis something like that okay because nobody yeah. will be doing that manually or something like that at night or on, on a routine way yeah so uh, that nine point maybe on on your like if you think okay not as your devops maybe jenkins or or maybe something else to accommodate that okay so in organization level i we work on all all the sort of tools different projects will be using different sort of tools and all okay mm -hmm. some organizations will have a, a a standard tool but many other small small projects will will have their own tools okay mm -hmm. so you have to know a little bit of all that but all the logic or the the basic science is the same okay only the technology might be different but the basic fundamental is same in that uh, mm. ci cd okay so these are all the topics okay so after seven you men say these are these are optional kind of these are not core terraform uh, thing but this is yeah. this is all the core terraform which we will do and all the modules we will cover like uh, the uh, whatever blocks you we we discuss the core blocks those mm -hmm. all blocks we are going to do in much detail mm -hmm. so let me see where is our block topic yeah so these are the core blocks which we are going to do 
okay the terraform block then the provider block resources block okay so these are blocks are are used day in day out okay whenever you are doing terraform these are the the like 100% of day in day out you will use this input variable yeah. output variable <laughs> local blocks module blocks data source block okay so the entire knowledge revolves around these blocks only so there is a finite boundary to learn so that that's a, a good thing in that okay and apart from that there are few uh, meta arguments these are also block but they are some kind of special block okay depends on count for each so these are also used day in day out not everyone maybe depends on is used count for each and provider okay life cycle we have not much like on need basis only so mm -hmm. these all things will be our scope while doing in, in the entire course okay. and uh, how the course will be right a, a bit of theory and then directly on doing the coding on 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 the visual yeah, studio yeah. so it will be structured like that and we will have a git repository so all the code whatever we will do we'll share it okay, so that mm -hmm. you can either i will give you some homework that okay complete this code we will i will start something and give you or mm -hmm. or maybe i will tell you to write some example maybe create a azure function okay or a azure vm or or I will give you some code. Okay, there is Azure VM already there. Now attach a disk into that. Okay, mm -hmm. some kind of that that kind of homework or uh, will be there, which will which it will mm -hmm. force you a little bit to learn something. Okay, even if it is not covered in that or or do your mm -hmm. own research or ask me how to do that and all that. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is all the things and uh, tools already you told right. So these all we will cover. Some part of Git will be there, okay? Because later Git will be uh, needed uh, in, in the re, in the actual uh, true scenario. Mm -hmm. We all use the Git only. Okay. So this is the very high level and uh, connectivity. Also, you have a Azure account, right? Uh, any yes, Azure. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. So mm. it, it it won't be like uh, you can have anything free or pay as you go whichever is there because we are not going to keep the resources for long yeah. we will just create it and delete immediately we'll create it delete it like that okay. yeah and uh, usually just want to understand in the azure uh, or like you will be more focused on the infrastructure as a service like ias side or the platform as a service pass and all kind of thing or, or is it not aware at this point for you uh, mostly ias Oh, okay, infrastructure as a service. Okay, fine. So we'll focus more examples on the on that point then. Okay, mm -hmm. infrastructure as a service. Okay, but pass yeah. will also be there. Azure app service we will cover. Azure function app. Okay, logic app. At least we will cover touch point. These all important things, which mm -hmm. are used in the enterprise. Enterprise. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. that's it. Till no. Okay. Any other queries or anything from the course content? Uh, one of you, or that any specific timing also you can say like when you want the course. Like you are based in UK, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Oh. You you are based in UK. yeah. I'm based in London. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which part? Where? I'm I'm in East London. Um, popular. Pop popular. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What about you? You are also in London, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Near to Barking. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, any specific timing and all, or or are you flexible with timing, or how 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 it works out? Uh, what is your feasible time actually? Uh, evening, anything after five is fine. Like you are here, or or sometime in day also. Like um, it's not. Uh -huh. Fixed. So, okay. but after evening, it is fine. Any time after five and all till, or if you any any time might might be thirty minutes some day something one. Or it's up to you also. Like how quick how you are grasping. I will go in that pace. Okay, so it's not like pushing all the few hours on you like that. Uh -huh. So I will ensure that okay, you are getting that content and it's helping you. Okay, so it's not mm -hmm. purely on professional basis. So at least if you are not understanding or not getting, what is the point of teaching? Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you. So it will be like that. So based on your learning pace, I will adjust accordingly. What is there? Okay. 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 Mm. 
so um, so not, let me know whenever we can start we can start today also or tomorrow any time like I'm, i'm fine with anything anyway it's weekend or, or, or like how you want to do on weekends or not all right it's up to you how you how you want to do okay um so what about mornings will suit for you yeah mornings is fine like morning what time around what is your time like like 6 to 7 something like too early is it possible for you no 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 it's fine man i am early i wake up early only okay so 6 to 7 uh-huh. is a good time yeah yeah that will be fine yeah because nowadays summer it's quite early right daytime yeah yeah daytime is quite early okay yeah so mm-hmm. that's fine 6 to 7 is good so mm-hmm. let me know if tomorrow is fine we can start tomorrow or any time like based on your your okay. availability yeah sure sure i'll let you know and uh, like if you don't mind asking like where, where you work in uh, which company uh, yeah i will let you know once again i think this screen is oh. getting the coordinate okay so once the uh-huh. uh, once i can ping you my whatsapp number and all okay so i'll uh uh-huh.